The Johnson & Johnson vaccine only requires one dose. This means that when supplies of it increase and it arrives in our community, we can reach more people faster. This vaccine is easier to ship, store, and administer as it doesn't need to be kept frozen like the current vaccines do. This means it is particularly conducive to mobile vaccination sites at community centers, houses of worship, and other public settings. As more and more groups become eligible for vaccination, this will be an incredibly valuable tool to help us get into the neighborhoods and ensure our entire community has easy access to the vaccine. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine uses a different technology than the two currently authorized options from Moderna and Pfizer, but it's a technology that has been employed widely in the past. At their core, all vaccines are attempting to do really the same thing. So when a person gets sick from a virus, the body creates antibodies that help kill off the virus. Now the immune system also remembers how to make those antibodies. So it would be unlikely that you'd get sick from the same virus for a second time. And all vaccines work by stimulating your immune system to remember how to make those antibodies quickly and without having to become ill first. So while this newest vaccine from Johnson & Johnson uses a slightly different method to help teach your immune system to remember how to create antibodies for the virus, it is still highly effective in doing so. Like all vaccines, viral vector vaccines for COVID-19 were rigorously tested for safety before being authorized or approved for use in the United States. Vaccines of the type like Johnson & Johnson have been well studied in clinical trials, and these viral vector vaccines have been used to respond to countless different diseases, including the most recent Ebola outbreaks. Viral vector vaccines use an inactivated version of a different virus as a means to transmit proteins into our bodies to teach us to fight these specific infections. The vaccine does not cause infection with either COVID-19 or the virus that it uses as that vector. The genetic material delivered by the virus vector does not integrate into our own DNA. Thank you.